Hello, today we are talking about the difference between retro and vintage and why you should care as a reseller. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I have been reselling for about 10 years and I am a homeschooling mom of my two kids. So first up, what is the difference between retro and vintage? Vintage is an item that is time stamped. It is something that was made 20 years ago or longer all the way up to the hundred year point when then it becomes an antique that's a whole nother ball of wax right there retro is more of a style or an aesthetic it doesn't necessarily have a time stamp some of the articles i've read will say that you know vintage is more feminine while retro is more masculine retro is more like aliens and 50s aesthetics but not necessarily anymore but as a reseller why should you care about the difference between something that is vintage and something that is retro some people are definitely sticklers about using the word vintage because if you're selling something that is vintage style like it's a reproduction then using the word vintage isn't technically accurate but when you're a reseller you've got to think about your buyer and is your buyer realizing the distinctions between retro and vintage basically i want to know what is my buyer searching for because that way my item gets in front of them and right now the word retro is definitely more searched than the word vintage i kind of view this in the same realm of a square and a rectangle a square is a rectangle but a rectangle is not a square. So I can use the word retro for a vintage item, but can I use the word vintage for a retro or vintage reproduction item? I say as long as you say vintage style for a reproduction type item or retro would, would also fit there because retro is not necessarily time stamped. But let's take a look at the actual numbers of things that are out there and selling and the kinds of prices people are getting. I like to use the telephone as the example. For example, this is a classic 1960s style rotary dial telephone. And this is labeled as retro because it is a reproduction. One of the ways that I know is that I also saw one for sale on Amazon and it's exactly the same. So it's a rotary phone, vintage style phone. This is not actually an old one. If you grew up with phones like this, you would only need to pick it up to know the difference because the old ones, the actual ones that were used back then, you could knock a man out with. They were heavy. So here are some examples of listings that have sold lately of this type of phone i have here rotary retro rotary phone red there were 50 sold for this one and as you're seeing here these are not necessarily the original old phones these are like this one might be yeah this one says 1978 it's got actually the date put on there but some of these are like poly concept they're retro because they look like that but they're not actually that same style now as far as price goes like some of the prices on the reproduction like retro type phones can still sell for a really good amount but here we got this mid-century modern one that sold for 94 dollars. this one definitely especially because you can see there would be <laughs> there would be a place if you're younger there would be a place on the phone that you would write your phone number down so you could see what your phone number was when you were talking to people so you could tell them what your phone number is i don't know like i guess you wouldn't remember what your phone or if you were somewhere and you're like call me back here's the number where i am and you would have to read the number off the phone if they chose to write it on there so these are some different examples so retro rotary phone tesla old one this one's a 1973 they actually put the year of it on there i if i just saw that without the listing I might actually think that this was a reproduction when it's so cool looking. So here's an example. This is a, a wall hanging phone. This one sold for $89. This is an actual vintage phone. They also put the word retro in there because that's a good search term. That's what a lot of people are searching for, retro. Here's another one, vintage, retro, collectible. This one, hundred and this one sold for hundred and thirty dollars and then here's another one they don't have the word vintage in there i would i would probably put both just to hit both of those search engine categories another way to see the effects of the wording 
is to come over to Terrapeak. So on eBay, I believe you have to have an eBay store to have access to this. If I'm wrong, please leave a comment. But you can come over to the research tab and select Terrapeak product research. Type in what you're thinking of putting in as some of your keywords for your title, retro, retro mushroom cookie jar. And then I can come down and see the average sold price and also the sell through rate. So the sell through rate for the last 30 days for this keyword search was 54%, which is an amazing sell through rate. Now, if I change one word and take out retro and add vintage instead, vintage mushroom cookie jar, average sold price goes down and the sell through rate is also 11% versus the 54%. So those words do matter when it comes to search engine optimization and having your item found in search. So I did take some time after doing this research to go through my listings yesterday and start looking at which ones that maybe I could add the word retro in because it does seem to be something that there is an uptick in the searching for retro items. So it's something to consider going back and retooling some of your listings. If you've got items that are reproduction vintage or actually vintage items that you could add the word retro into. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.